when you are preparing a young person, the first thing that you have to do is establish their faith. That alone sets the tone for whatever you will do with your life. Challenges become opportunities. Adversity becomes rejoicing in trials. You look for ways to serve. I mean, Jesus said it best, seek first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added to you. And for us, that all started at Florida College. My time at Florida College was pretty incredible looking back on it now because God was planting seeds in my heart. He was making connections for us and the work that we do. And it was a time of grounding, getting to know God on a deeper level and sometimes get to meet somebody. Actually, we met 50 years ago this year at Florida College. Looking back, we could definitely see God's hand of providence in bringing us together. I got my degree in business and marketing, and that helped me with our business, which opened the door to being exposed to girls who were contemplating abortions. All of those, you might think of it, were insignificant at the time, but now in retrospect, we see it as being amazingly significant. Basically, we thought, what if money wasn't a barrier? Would families open up their homes and put another place at the table? The good news is they have done that incredibly well. When we first started this, looking at twenty to thirty to forty thousand dollars for an adoption, we thought, wow, if we could do five in our lifetime, wouldn't that be great? And then God slapped us in the face and said, yeah, watch this. This is our 15th year, and there's a lot to celebrate. We have 406 funded adoptions which includes over 360 families. And most importantly, we have 52 of the adopted children have been born again. Yes, Jesus loves me. Every time somebody asks me about the influence that uh, Florida College had on me, I go back to sitting in Melvin Curry's class on New Testament epistles. And I remember sitting in there one day and he was teaching 1 Corinthians. And I had this epiphany. I really believe this. And what I mean by that is that was a moment in time I've never forgotten where my faith became my own faith. It's just impossible to tell all the stories, the trials, the joys, the inspiration, the concepts of kingdom work. I think both Dana's life experiences and mine put us in a unique position to have this idea for the kingdom. We have similar missions. Florida College and Sacred Selection. We have many Florida College connections that have helped us along the way. As a matter of fact, we did our debut at Florida College. In 2007, Ralph Walker and Buddy Payne gave us the opportunity to set up a little card table, and we sort of introduced this idea of Sacred Selections to the world. And that really was kind of coming full circle from, from where we met and where we started the foundation. It's just a beautiful thing that Florida College does, yes, they teach you on a deeper, stronger level, the Bible, but just the connections. And then as we started Sacred Selections, it was really wonderful to have those connections. I was there and just had a wonderful, wonderful time. Sometimes I think about the opening verse in Joshua when God is speaking to Joshua and he says, Moses, my servant is dead, now therefore go. And at some point, we won't be here but it would be wonderful to know that generation after generation has found a way to continue so that we as Christians can follow the biblical pattern. We can never pay God back, and He doesn't ask us to. He asks us to pay it forward. <laughs>